We begin this hour 18 with Chicago police facing new accusations of misconduct after another bad raid at the wrong home. That's right. It happened just one month after the department committed to changing the way it obtains and executes search warrants. That commitment, the result of nearly two years of reporting by CBS to investigator Dave Savini, exposing a disturbing pattern of police traumatizing families in the city's black and Latino neighborhoods. Do you remember what the police did to that door? They knocked that door off. They knocked it off? That thing. Four-year-old Lily was with her grandma Sharon Lyons when police busted into their home in Chicago's Back of the Yards neighborhood. And that's when they had the machine guns and whatever guns them was, they was in my face. They are the latest victims of a bad Chicago police raid. It happened in February, just one month after CPD sat down with the CBS2 investigators and made a commitment to put a stop to wrong raids. We don't want to see that happen. We don't want to erode the trust with the, the community. The commitment to change how police obtain and execute search warrants came nearly two years after the CBS2 investigators started exposing a disturbing pattern of officers raiding homes and pointing guns at dozens of innocent children in Chicago's black and brown neighborhoods. Neighborhoods. Like here in 2019, during this wrong raid for drugs on the Archie family. All police found were three terrified children who they pointed guns at in order to the floor. Please do not shoot me. You're fine. You're fine. Did they point the guns at you? They did? Uh -huh. Sharon Lyons says she was also worried about her son Julius, who has autism. He started to run when he saw guns and her on the floor. My mom, come, 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 come on flow. Were you afraid for them all? Yeah, it's we, we can't keep making the same mistakes over and over without putting procedures and policies in place. Newly appointed police superintendent David Brown wasn't in Chicago when all these bad raids happened but is well aware of CBS2's ongoing investigation. Thank you so much for the story. Awesome. He says wrong raids have to stop, and if they happen, must be documented and tracked. If you don't do them right, they, you know, rescind whatever trust you, you've earned. It frightened me because anything can happen. A gun can go off in a matter of seconds. CPD wouldn't comment on the raid at the Lions' home. There's an open investigation into that case by the Civilian Office of Police Accountability. The family's attorney, Al Hofeld Jr., plans to file a federal lawsuit. Erica and Brad. Dave, we know the previous administration stonewalled you for two years, refusing to do any interviews or turn over any records on these raids. A new superintendent, Brown, he's finally talking even early in his tenure. Uh, is it just talk or what kind of movement are you seeing? Well, as you heard, he says he agrees that they should be tracking these raids, and he also agrees that uh, the, 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 the database should have been turned over to us, and we got that database, and um, that was really important because what we found was startling. At first, we wanted to know how often they happen, but we ended up learning so much more. We learned that black and Latino neighborhoods are the main targets, and we also found the officers who do the most negative raids, that's where they make no arrests, no drug arrests, no gun arrests, and find nothing, that includes the officer who raided the family you just saw. It's a lot to get into, but we will dig even deeper coming up tonight on the News at 10. All right, Dave Savini investigating for us. Thank you. And to see more of Dade's investigation into wrong raids, click on the CBS2 Investigators tab on our new app. Search CBS Chicago wherever you get your apps.